Hi everyone, I'm Alex with UCCX.net and today what I'm going to show you is uh, what I've been working on for a little while in my lab at home. Um, I'm a CCIE voice candidate and one of the things I've gotten really intrigued with in the last couple weeks has been VMware, um, the whole concept of VMware and ESX server and infrastructure client and workstation and all that good stuff. So what I have at home, I have a pretty much a full rack of the same equipment that you'll find on the CCIE voice lab. Um, one of the concepts on that is they actually use VMware so what I'm doing today is I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how to install a call manager 7 um, subscriber into a VMware ESX 3i server. So first thing I've done is I've, la I've launched the VM infrastructure client um, that's something that you can download from your ESX server as soon as you have that stood up I'll be doing another video later on for that. Um, as soon as you're inside of this what you need to do is right click and go to new virtual machine um, and what I usually typically do is try to do custom um, and I'll explain that the reasoning for that in a second um, once you've selected custom you hit next I'm going to go ahead and give this a name CUCM7X sub uh, 1 and the reason I usually do 01 is just because you can have technically more than one subscriber in the cluster so I may add a different um, subscriber in later I only have one data store on my server. Um, it's a MCS7816. It's got two 80 gig SATA hard drives in it. Um, and the reason I haven't done anything different with the RAID is I did want RAID 1 on the server so that everything was mirrored um, for data redundancy and backup. So that's about all I got for storage space. So if any of you guys out there have a full SAN, I'm envious. Um, this is probably one of the most important settings here, this guest operating system. You're going to need to pick Linux and you're also going to want to go down to Red Hat Enterprise 4. Uh, I've done some experimenting with this and Red Hat Linux 4 or 5 will work. I've just had better uh, success with 4 for whatever reason. Um, the memory is not as important as it used to be. Uh, any of you guys that have ever done any um, call manager uh, version 4 in Windows try to do that in VMware. This was a big setting but um, 1024 will work. Um, for the network, I've already configured one, uh, well, I have to reconfigure another network adapter, which I'll show you guys another tutorial on that. Um, for the I.O., uh, I have tried bus logic, in the, for instance, on this ESX server. I've had some issues with that, so I'm just going to do LSI logic. I uh, want to create a new virtual disk here. Um, this is probably the most important setting. If it's, for whatever reason, I've played around with this, if it's less than 40 gigs, it'll fail. Um, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, the location here, I'm just going to store it with the virtual machine. Um, pick my SCSI node here. And we're finally ready to complete. And once you're back in the infrastructure client, if you expand out on the top left over here, you'll see the CUCM7X sub uh, virtual machine. Now, this is a very important concept that messed me up a lot. Um, when I was trying to build this in my lab was the concept of mounting a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM on the actual ESX server versus copying the CD from your local machine that you're logged into the infrastructure client with. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and actually start this virtual machine by hitting the play button. And in the virtual machine land in infrastructure client, you have this console tab here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on console, let my laptop catch up with me for a minute. what you'll notice is you'll, you'll almost always get this message uh, when you boot, um, network boot, and then you'll be doing your uh, DHCP here. You're going to get a message that shows operating system not found here in a second, and that drove me nuts for a couple days. Um, so I'll wait for this message to come up. Operating system not found. Now, the only way I got around that was I actually have the Call Manager 7 installation disk in my local CD-ROM on my laptop that I'm used to connect with infrastructure client to the actual ESX server. For whatever reason, the MCS servers, I had an issue getting the DVD slash CD-ROM to mount uh, using the Linux commands for mount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this connect to DVD, CD DVD 1 here. I'm going to say connect it as the F drive. And what you can do, I'm going to double click inside the black to actually get into the console. Control, Alt, and Insert is actually the delete command for Linux. Or, I'm sorry, control alt insert is actually the VMware control alt delete sequence. So what I did was I just initiated a control alt delete using 
um, that sequence of keys. And once I did that and the uh, CD-ROM is connected, you'll notice it's going to run the friendly installer for Call Manager 7. Uh, another tip is you can hit Control alt and it'll bring you out of the infrastructure client so you get your mouse control back. And we're at our friendly splash screen for Call Manager 7.